Okay, when you solve systems using substitution. Substitution is basically you substituting a variable like x, say x equals 4, and you substituting into an equation. So if I have two equations, x equals 4 and x plus y equals 6, I'm going to substitute what x is, which x it says equals 4, into the other equation. So 4 plus y equals 6. Subtract 4 from both sides, y equals 2. That means that if I were to stick y into this equation, which is 2, 4 plus 2 is going to equal 6. This is finding two numbers that make both of these equations true when you plug them in. That means that if I tell you x equals happy face, that means in the other equation, wherever there's an x, I'm going to stick a happy face. So it would be 2 times happy face plus y equals 0. I'm substituting the x with a happy face. Instead of putting that x there, I'm putting a happy face everywhere that there's an x. That just means you're substituting whatever x equals <coughs> for whatever it equals, which is the happy face. Just like the example I just did, I said that x equals 4. So wherever there was an x, I put a 4 to solve for y. You're substituting something in order to solve for a variable. Here's an actual example. If you have a variable by itself, like y, y doesn't just equal a number, it equals an equation. So I'm going to take this whole entire equation and substitute it in for the y in the other equation. So instead of rewriting the top equation with a y, I'm going to rewrite the top equation with whatever equals y. So this says y equals 2x plus 4. So I rewrote the top equation over here, and wherever y was supposed to be, I'm no longer going to put y. I'm going to put 2x plus 4. And then this is going to get me to solve for x. Okay, so if I plug in for y, I have all x's, so that means I'm going to solve for x. To solve for x, you have parentheses, so you have to distribute. So x, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. x, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, equals negative 2. Then you can combine like terms, which the x's are alike, so you can combine those. There's really a 1 in front of this x, so it's 1 minus 4x. It's just going to give you negative 3x minus 8 equals negative 2. You want to get x by itself, so you're going to add 8 to both sides. You get negative 3x negative 2 plus 8 is 6. To isolate x, you divide by negative 3 on both sides, and you get x equals negative 2.
some people are going to look at that like that's the answer. Like you have y equals 2x plus 4 and you have x equals negative 2. That is not the answer. You still have to find out what y equals. Because that equation right here, y equals 2x plus 4, this is not your answer. Your answer has to be a number or it has to be no solution or infinitely many solutions. So I still have to bring this up here into one of the original equations to solve for y. So if I rewrote the second equation, y equals 2x plus 4, I'm going to plug in this x. So it would be y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 4. which equals 2 times negative 2 is going to give me negative 4 plus 4 y equals 0. So now I have a number answer for y and a number answer for x so those are going to be my coordinates. It's be negative 2, 0. <coughs> And that's how you use the substitution method.